in my way. We're working with Andy Serkis, who you may know as Gollum from Lord of the Rings or Kong from King Kong. He doesn't only play one of the characters in the game, King Bohan, he's also our dramatic director. The job of dramatic director um, has been, it's quite wide ranging. When you're casting, you have the conceptual artwork, so there's a, there's a pre-designed way that the character is going to finally manifest itself on screen. And yet you're trying to find the souls of these characters. Stop playing with her and kill the wretched girl! Oh, you poor little thing. <laughs> Look! <laughs> we cast a lot of theatrical actors because we knew that they had what the game needed, which was bold, interesting characters. Initially, I was a little bit um, confused because uh, I don't understand much about the technology. You're very aware that you've got 60 cameras at all times picking up everything from every angle. I mean, there's no place to hide. And you think, well, I, so I'm a series of dots then. What they are doing is building up an entire virtual map of you and the emotional input and everything that you're giving them. And once you realize that, suddenly you think, well, this is a magic suit because once I have this ridiculous outfit on, I can purely play and just have as much fun as I can possibly get out of it. Show me some action! The interesting thing about motion capture is how liberating it is for actors because you can play anything. You're not restricted to your own physicality, your own face. You are allowed using this medium to go anywhere. Motion capture seems to really capture the essence of the movement so much more than what a normal camera usually can. Technology nowadays does allow you to, to sculpt in the computer very similar to, to traditional sculpting. When you've seen the actors going through all these extremes of raising eyebrows and frowning, that kind of thing, we, we have to take that data and do versions of that ourselves. An angry face without these kind of wrinkle marks here on the nose and everything just isn't an angry face. It's only really with the PlayStation 3 development to allow us to have so many shapes to, to represent the skin, how it slides, how it wrinkles and creases. Stuart takes photos of us and photos of the animation of the character and superimposes them and then takes what he wants of us and what he wants of the character, which works really nicely with like uh, skin tone and things like that, so that then there's there's kind of an essence of of you. What is your purpose, Nariko, exactly? Mm -hmm. To die valiantly, to shed blood for a worthless cause, perhaps. Well, whatever it is, it's over. If this desire to create a new direction in gaming is to, is to be successful, it's all got to be based around the, the emotional engagement of, of actors and performers and the characters they're playing. I hope people look back at this period in gaming and see this period as, as the time where games became a dramatic art form and almost vindicate us all for working in this medium for so many years. Kill her! Wipe her out! Thank <laughs> you.